All right, let's talk about the mainstream media shenanigans. Of all the nonsensical interviews that you see sometimes on TV, this one has to be the craziest one. Sophie Rich of Sky News interviewing the SNP leadership candidate Kate Forbes. One of the, basically of all the SNP nutters, Kate Forbes is a little bit better. Uh, she at least believes in British values and uh, it's sensible uh, social conservative values, family values and all this. Um, and Sophie Rich decided to focus on the priorities. It's a leadership election for the SNP. And she could ask about all the policy ideas and everything else, but she's going to focus on um, Kate Forbes going to church because she's Christian, and apparently that's a taboo these days in politics. So she's going to ask, why did you choose the local church near you to go to that one? Because that's the local church, I guess. Let's go to this interview and react as we watch. You are, as you say, exposed to all sorts of different religions and uh, different churches in your youth. What, what is it about the free church <laughs> that attracted you, that drew you there? It's just down the road. So um, it's, the, it's the closest church. I've always been um, keen to uh, support the, the church that was on my doorstep. Forgive me. What's wrong with that? There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. It's a local church. Let her go. Leave her alone. But she's going to say, forgive me. You're obviously someone whose religion and your faith is really important to you and to your life and all, all of those things, of course. And you're, you're really th uh, saying that the reason that you chose the church that you're with now is just because it was down the road. There must be... What's wrong with that? ...more to it than that, surely. I, I, I hate to disappoint you, but... Um, and obviously anybody would be welcome to visit the Highlands. But uh, uh, having, having lived... I lived just uh, near Dingwall and it is the church i mean i've not made any uh, sort of not made any effort to hide my faith in the six years that i've been in frontline politics indeed all my constituents know um about my faith and yet they have elected me okay so firstly imagine if instead of kate forbes you had uh homza yusuf being interviewed by sophie ridge for example and if uh, sophie ridge asked him so how come you picked the local mosque uh, to go to and uh, become that sort of Muslim? You, can you imagine the outrage across society here now and in this modern world? How much Sophie Ridge and Sky News would have been cancelled for basically asking Homs Yusuf why he's a Muslim? <laughs> why are we doing this? Why are we even focusing on this as a priority for an interview? Obviously, one of the main reasons, there are so many reasons apart from their own agenda to shift the narrative of the media, is also because of money. And I'm, I'm, to, I'm being blamed, I'm to, I'm to blame as well for it, because um, by doing this, that interview got a lot of attention and they get a lot of hits for Sky News. So the ratings will go up and people will talk about the, the, the sensationalization of this news and they get a lot of attention. It's a very sad cycle of doom because, again, you might say, well, Maya, you're doing the same thing. You're talking about it. Unfortunately, you were absolutely correct because, I'm, you know, we, we fall into the same trap. But I, I can't ignore this. I cannot ignore what just happened here. This is absolutely chaotic. You can't have double standards. I, I really want Soverage to ask the same thing uh, from uh, Holmes or Yusuf to see what happens. If they genuinely believe that this was an innocent question. Why are you even talking about her faith? Her faith is, you know, her personal thing, and that then just leave it alone. And she's a Christian, and we, considering we're running out of Christians these days, especially when it comes to people who get involved with public, and um, public office and frontline politics, because you guys want to completely eliminate anybody who believes in Judeo-Christian values, and this is the issue with that. And there are people who are not even religious, or I mean, basically I mean, anti-theists, who still believe in certain values that comes from Judeo-Christianity and family values and believing in the state and rule of law and uh, essentially everything else we've, that's created the stability of the West until now. But no, they don't want it. But we are where we are. Anyway, uh, let's <laughs> focus on other important issues. We're going to have react to a couple of weird things that we saw in the mainstream media today. But we are going to also give you the latest update on the SNP um, leadership election as well as uh, what's going on with Reform UK. If you watched the channel yesterday, we uh, went to the press conference that Richard Tice and Reform had uh, to announce the, that the band is getting back together. Nigel Farage is back, obviously not on front line. He's going to be advisor uh, to Richard Tice and the Reform. But all the other uh, former Brexit party MEPs are back, including Anne Whittacombe. It's going to be quite interesting. And Ben Habib, he's become very popular 
these days bear because of his strong stance against the Northern Ireland Protocol. Make sure to watch those videos as well. We're going to give you the latest update later on. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.